Now, if you need to randomize numbers for a data set, you have a choice. You can randomize across a uniform distribution. That means we get the same basic number of random numbers between the min and the max, or we can build from a Bell distribution a random set of numbers where most of the numbers are right in the middle. Now, there are lots of other ways to randomize variables in Excel. If you look at my analytics class available for free on the Excel is Fun homepage, I have a bunch of other ways. But here, we want to talk about uniform and normal. RAND, RAND array, and RAND between all work off a uniform distribution. I'm using RAN between because I just want a top and bottom. I want from 10 comma to 200. But guess what? I actually want some pennies because these are sales. So I'm going to go 10 plus two extra zeros comma 200 plus two extra zeros close and then divide by 100. Control enter. Double click and send it down. And you can see we get more or less a uniform distribution. Now, to randomize in a Bell distribution, norm.dist means we give it a value and it gives us probability, but we want a value, so we use norm.inverse. Now, probability, we are going to use RAND, and it will deliver the probability. That means 0 to 1 over a uniform distribution. But when we say, hey, the mean, 100, and the standard deviation is 25. That means 68% of the values will be between 1 and minus 1 standard deviation, so between 75 and 125. Actually, 95% of the values will be generated between 150 and 50. So most of the values are going to be distributed in the middle. Now, the problem with norm.inverse is it's very messy with lots of decimals, so we have pennies here. So we're going to round the result to the penny. Control enter, double click and send it down. And there we have two ways to randomize. Ran between, well that give us a more or less uniform distribution. And norm.inverse and round, that will give us a bell distribution.